Hello and welcome to a new video about AC, alternating current. Last time we talked about serial circuit of coils. Today we want to see what is happening if we do a parallel circuit with coils. We want again, we have a parallel circuit of coils and we want to replace them with one replacement L, with one replacement coil. And well, that's, that's how it should look like. All right? So, parallel circuit, all voltages are the same. Huh? So, I can immediately write here U equals U1 equals U2 equals U3 equals and whatever. And I'm going to extrapolate this to N. Huh? Undefined. Number N. Huh? It's always the same. Here, a second thing is, we have here a node. This is the node. And if we have a look at this node, whatever is going in, this is only I, must be what is going out, and these are all others. right? So we have here I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3, plus and whatever, plus IN. Hmm. Those are the two equations we want to, to deal with. Huh? And we, we know at a coil huh, that our voltage U1, at the coil U1, our voltage U1 equals L1, multiplied by the change rate of the current. Okay? That was this. All right? This was the change rate of the current and multiplied by L. Then we had also terms I times R. I say these are ideal coils, so they don't, they don't have any, any resistance. Yeah? So the only thing was, which was left is, which is left, is the magnetic part. So my U2 equals L2 multiplied di2 dt. My U3 equals L3 multiplied di3 dt yeah, and so on and my un equals ln multiplied by din dt <coughs> all right so uh, this means if I now do here a change so that I the change rate of my of my current equals u1 divided by l1 right and so on the change rate of this equals u2 divided by L2, here L3, and here Ln. Here we have the change rate of I3, here we have the change rate of In, and here we have U3 and Un. Just bring the stuff to the other side. And if all, if all currents are the same, huh, then I can say also the change of I equals the change of I1 plus the change of I2 plus the change of I3 and so on plus the change of I. 
n. And if I do this by taking into account the infinitesimal uh, difference, yeah, then I can write, I divide this whole stuff yeah, to delta i divided by delta t equals delta i1 divided by delta t plus delta i2 divided by delta t plus delta i3 divided by delta t plus and so on delta i4 divided by delta t. Now I make an infinitesimal change so I think that those deltas are small, very small. Yeah? So what is actually written there is di dt equals di1 dt plus di2 dt plus di3 dt plus and so on plus din dt. And now I only have to take this. Yeah? So I only have to take this into account. So I I'm right because of course the u equals L times di dt. So my di dt equals u divided by L. All right, so let's write this here. We have here uh, u divided by L. This is, this is this part. This is u divided by L. u divided by L. And now equals this part, u1 divided by L1. Plus u2 divided by L2 plus u3 divided by L3 plus and so on un divided by ln. And now I take this this part yeah, that all u's are the same. So this actually equals u divided by L equals u divided by L1 plus u divided by L2 plus u divided by L3 plus and so on plus u divided by Ln. And now I only have to divide by u and what is left actually is 1 divided by L equals 1 divided by L1 plus 1 divided by L2 plus 1 divided by L3 plus tuk 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 plus 1 divided by Ln. This is how you calculate the replacement inductance of a parallel circuit. So you see also here we are behaving exactly like we're behaving with, with resistors. Resistors would also this kind parallel. Yeah? But important, no magnetic coupling. Okay? So here we had our, our series circuit and this is our parallel circuit. Yeah? Parallel circuit of coils. Hmm? Now we know how to deal with coils, how to get rid of some coils. We don't find a replacement, not get rid, find a replacement coil, uh, which will substitute. Uh, now it's time to have a look how a coil is behaving in a DC circuit. Right? So next time, inductance in a DC circuit. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.